Oh man, today we got 30 Rich, man, the guy who who's made a lot of money out of nothing, man. You know, I've seen this guy come out of jail and 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 go upward, go north, go crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? Man, I'm doing good, bro. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? And you know, your name comes up quite a few, man, especially towards me. A lot of people have great things to say about you. Yeah, I'm doing a lot that a lot of people haven't seen and heard of before. And that, you know yeah. what I'm saying? A lot of a lot of people don't know how to do it and want to know how to do it. So, you know, that it's only certain few people that you can go to, to to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? To learn from. In our, gener death. In now, our generation. Now, I do want to say you are the ultimate hustler, man. Like when it comes to getting a dollar, that's something that you've been knowing how to do for a long time. Um, I do want to talk about that in the beginning. You got a goat in your lap. Yeah, I'm you the, have a dog. I'm the I'm the young goat, man. I'm the young goat. You know, I just I just got this goat. You know, I took it to the dog show. You know, it's a it's a market in, in these animals, bro. Just like this dog, this goat, I probably can sell for a thousand dollars. This dog, I co-owned it for forty thousand already. You know, uh, this is a fluffy French bulldog. A lot of people don't know that you can create. You know, what I'm saying, um, long-term income off fluffy Frenchies and French bulldogs in general and uh, bullies. You know, and I've been doing it for a long time. That's a $40,000 dog right there? $40,000 dog, simply because the color she is, what she carry, her parents, the, the personality of her, you know, she's not moving, she's not jumping, she ain't jumped out my lap, she's standing there. It's hard to get a dog to come out like this, you know what I'm saying, and have good temperament. This is a female and I, I co-owned her for $40,000. Uh, the last female I co-owned was for $80,000. But this one I come on for forty because it's my uh, kennel partner. Who got you into dogs? I've been doing dogs and knowing about dogs since I was a kid, bro. You know, growing up around my cousin them, they been had game dogs or, or just dogs in general. I used to see them sell dogs for like a hundred or two. You know what I'm saying? I used to see them selling dogs and breeding dogs and having different dogs every time I went over to their house. So. You know, when I went back to my mom and them house, they wouldn't let me keep dogs. We had a couple of dogs with my daddy didn't really, you know what I'm saying, fuck with dogs. So um, I always knew and wanted dogs. I used to walk around the neighborhood and go hide them behind, you know what I'm saying, a shed in the back of my house. You know, but um, it was a guy that stayed behind me. He was the first guy I seen with a bully. You know, I used to be in trouble a lot and be on punishment. I was sitting on the, on the, on the, on the, on the curb. You know, looking at the sky every day, I'm in trouble. I can't leave off the front porch. And a bully came by and it looked different than the pit. It was the same color as the pit, but it had more muscle and bone. And I asked him, hey, man, how much them dogs go for? You know, and he said 1500 to 3000 Back then, it wasn't no dogs going for that much. You know what I'm saying? So I knew once I got old enough to start messing them dogs, you know, uh, I was going to do it. So I started studying and learning at a young age. I got me one. I got me some mom. Um, uh, like a Brenda female. Her name was Killer V. I never got no puppies off of it. That's before I learned how to actually do the progesterone and how, how to actually produce, you know what I'm saying, um, production off a dog. A lot of people think they can get these dogs and just breed them, but you got to get their levels checked to know when they ovulate. And if they not ovulate, they not going to have no puppies. Mm. Man, so, you know, because you're the, you're the poster guy of, of, of the bullies, the, the dogs. It seems like a lot of the rap game are trying to copy your blueprint. Yeah, a lot of them trying to copy my blueprint, but they not dog people. They see me selling them and see me breeding them and see me having them. And they want to, you know what I'm saying, be in it for the money. I'm not just in it for the money. I'm actually in it because I love dogs and I know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm more in it to produce quality dogs and show people I know how to produce it. And, uh, you know what I'm saying, make a profit off of it. Like I said, a lot of people don't even know how to treat these dogs. You know, they don't know the vitamins and give them how to keep the weight on them. They don't know where to go to sell their dogs. You know, I've been in the dogs and studying dogs and going to dog shows and politicking with big name dog breeders for a while. So, um, yeah, it's rappers doing it, but they don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? They just think you go buy this dog and it's more to it. You got to know the genetics of the dogs. You got to know what it can produce. You got to know the bloodlines of it. So when you buy the dog, you can actually make a profit off of it. You know what I'm saying? But it's some people that get in just because they like the way they look. A lot of people haven't even seen these dogs or know what this is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, a lot of them get into it. A lot of them reach out to me. They reach out to me like, hey, what is this? Or, hey, you got this over there that I can buy from you. You know what I'm saying? But I 
if I sold all my dogs, I wouldn't have none. So I done got to the point where I done started letting other people franchise with me and show them how to actually do it. You know, uh, I got franchises in Atlanta, franchises in Louisiana, franchise in Flint, Michigan, a uh, franchise in Virginia. I got franchise. I got about 15 different franchises now where I'm showing others how to actually breed these dogs and produce high quality dogs because you can go get a dog. But if you go, don't go get the right genetics and the right what's in demand, it ain't going to go nowhere. Yeah. You know, with so many people popping up with their own kennels, like, you know, we just spoke about what's the number one thing you see people do wrong? Go buy the wrong dog and think they think they just can breed it. You know, um, a lot of these rappers, I see them picking up dogs, but the dogs don't have no no quality. You know, they dog look regular or they don't know how to breed it. You know, so I help people get the right breedings done. You know, what I'm saying I know all the high producing dogs in the United States. You know, what I'm saying I know what bloods click with what. And I have an actual brand and a market for it to where I've proven this. You know what I'm saying? When did you realize, like, you know what? Like, this rap shit cool, but this dog shit is where I'm going to be at. Like, when did you realize it was time to transition? So basically what I was doing was I was breeding them. And I was going crazy with the rap. Money laundering had me everywhere. Everybody from around the United States was tapping in to, um, you know what I'm saying, everything that I had going on. You know, with me already breeding dogs, I had to have some to sell them or some to give them after rap because rap was only getting me so far. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't just rap just to rap. Everything I rap about be real and I speak from the heart. So I wasn't consistent enough, you know what I'm saying, to just be rapping. You know what I'm saying? I, I, ain't, I ain't just going in there just making up stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everything I rap about is about me or what I'm going through, what I've been through. So um, when I start making the dogs and breeding the dogs and they were selling bro they were selling people was tapping in and like i said i was already into it and loving it you know what i'm saying learning it so it was like it was like something that i got addicted to you know what i'm saying and um me producing high quality dogs that's what really shot me off i got to selling dogs for 50 60 70 thousand dollars and i felt like it wasn't it don't make sense for me to go out there and risk my life or go out there and uh go to a show and perform and end up getting shot or Somebody ended up getting killed and I ended up in jail when I could have been at home breeding dogs and making my money without even being out there. You, I feel like you can make the same amount of money breeding dogs as rapping. You know what I'm saying? If, if somebody come give you uh, $20,000, 30000 for a dog, that's like somebody come and give you $10,000, 30000 for a feature. Mm -hmm. So it's basically the same thing. It's just a different industry. This is less harmful. It's a lot of rappers going out and getting killed and getting jacked and can't leave. You know what I'm saying? But this right here, you can get this money and... um. It could be wired to your bank account. You got actual yeah. millionaires that's in this. Well, you don't got to worry about going out there and dealing and niggas snatching your chain. You don't got to worry about leaving home. So I feel like when I started doing that, it was over with. And it, I got to the point where I got so big and people started paying me, you know what I'm saying, to see my lifestyle of breeding dogs. So it was, it was more like it chose me. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get out of the hood. I just wanted to get out of, you know what I'm saying, being doing what I used to do, you know what I'm saying? Doing what I thought was cool, you know what I'm saying? What I was seeing other people do that didn't really get them nowhere, but dead or in jail, you know, where I come from, it's not many people that's going to make no money off of no dogs. It's not many people that done left their hood. Dog breeding took me on the other side of the world, and I can go anywhere in the world right now and be good. I can land and call one of my kennel partners or somebody that breed dogs in that state, and they're going to make sure I'm straight, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, exploring the world and meeting new people you know that's what that's what got me into like into a heavy being able to go to california and, and being at a dog show where everybody cool you ain't got to worry about getting shot you ain't got to worry about no shootout you ain't got to worry about nothing you know what i'm saying you learn the dog and study the dogs and and you learn the market on it and you make money off of it. you can make a living off of it so it was like yeah i can make a living off rap and yeah i can rap but what comes behind it you know what i'm saying you got to travel a lot go to niggas Go to niggas' uh, hoods and shoot videos, be all in the clubs. Niggas be roaching, they wanna jack you. You know, I got I got jury, big jury, you know what I'm saying? I got too much going on to lose myself behind just rap. You know what That's I'm saying? What's up. And there's so many people that don't know how to do it, so somebody gotta do it. I gotta be an example for other people like us to, you know what I'm saying, learn how to make residual income without risking their life or just doing what everybody else do. Everybody wanna be a rapper nowadays, bro. So somebody got to do something different. 
That's right. Take us through that first time where you sold a dog for like five thousand or ten thousand, and you were like, you you didn't believe it. You know, like take us through that moment in the very beginning where you, where you're trying to get into this dog, um, shit, and then you do make that big sale. So look, I had a dog named Miss Baker. She was a brindle. I bred her to a black uh, tribe named Sasso. Me and my partner, Lil Leon, JJ, we went half on the dog. We bought like two, three dogs. Um, I bred her to a dog named Sasso. She produced nine puppies. I still got their blood to this day, and that was three years ago. It's hard to find a dog that produced nine puppies. Most of these dogs um, be super micro and super crazy when you're looking for a certain look to where they only have one or two pups. So she had nine puppies, you know, and I posted them. I posted a pet. You know, it's it's Facebook groups and dog groups that you can post your dogs in. You got to know how to politic a network to sell these dogs. But when I actually did it, when I actually sold my half for the litter and got fifteen, twenty thousand dollars, it was like, man, I just made twenty thousand dollars from home just from raising dogs and putting them together. It was a different feeling than going out there and risking my life for um, rapping a bunch or doing a bunch of shows or, you know, what I'm saying going up. Cause there's so many people that just want to use you when you hot, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was different me going, go talk to a bunch of people and it's not getting me nowhere. I'm spending all the money I saved to be here and beat her and you know what I'm saying? Go here and try to present myself or to perform. I'm spending five thousand dollars on the outfit just to just to go perform. So it was like when I made that and I did that, I took that same money and reinvested into more dogs and I just kept breeding them and flipping the money. For you know what? I was selling dollars fifty, sixty, seventy and saving so much money off breeding dogs. Man. And you know, there's a lot of people who who are trying to get into the business like you, but they'll sell a dog or they'll sell a few dogs and then they won't reinvest into their brand like you reinvest. So you got to be mentally mature to know how to, you know what I'm saying, um, keep your money. It's so many people that, that, like you said, breed a dog and sell a dog and don't re reinvest because they be satisfied with what they got. They don't have a, uh, a high level of thinking to where, man, I did that one time. I could do it 10 times and make 10 times the amount I made. You know what I'm saying? That's why people pay me to mentor them or they pay me to uh, join my franchise where I can show them where they can make that um, that flip a couple times other than one time. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. Now, you know the IRS is watching, so you don't have to answer. But do you do you think you made over a million dollars with dogs? Nah, I ain't made over no million dollars in dogs. What you think? What you think you made? You know, with the dogs, I made money different ways. It wasn't just dogs. You know, I got merch. You know, what I'm saying I got, I got, uh, real estate. I got properties. I don't flip houses. You know, I do music. So it was different, different streams of income. It was like I ain't really just counted how much I made off of it. Yeah, I keep going. Everything that I get, I kind of reinvested into something else. So I wouldn't know how much I actually made off dogs. I'll turn around and reinvest it. Like I don't, I don't keep, I don't keep just cash. You know, the money, not, the, the main, the money not going. No, it's not, it's not getting no. Uh, what you call it? You're not, you're not increasing your amount of money by holding it. So I really wasn't into just oh, yeah. holding the money. Yeah, yeah. Saving money doesn't make you rich, man. You got to keep reinvesting. Keep exactly, reinvesting. And, and that's what made me. So many people got into um, just making money. That's how, like, all the rappers. That came out around the time I came out around here, they not doing much because they didn't know what to do with the money they was getting. But I was raised different. You know what I'm saying? I was brought up and I seen so much growing up. I always knew that I wanted to reinvest my money. I already, already knew that I was going to be rich before I was 30 rich. You know what I'm saying? So when the money started coming, I instantly had to figure out where to put it to make more money. I was just, that's just me. And I kept doing it and kept doing it and kept showing the world. And that's how I got here. You know what I'm saying? You met me a long time ago. You met me three, four years ago. When you met me, I had a dog in my hand. And you probably you probably didn't understand what, what the fuck. I, was going I on. didn't know what the hell was going on. So it's so many, <laughs> it's so many people that that don't even know you can make money off this or don't know how. I was already on it. Everything that I do, I be on before people really own it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be like that if you call yourself a boss. How you a boss and you ain't making no money off no dogs? How you a boss if you ain't making no money off no birds, reptiles? It's money. Yeah different ways to make money how you a boss and want to be an entrepreneur and you're not investing the money you just think this trap and this rap is just gonna always be here yeah because you don't know how much money you made how lucrative is the dogs though 
What you mean by? Well, I, don't, I don't even know what it look to me. As far as far as like that's cool. It's cool. Like monthly or because I'm trying to give people an idea on how successful you really are. Like I know you don't like popping your shit, but this is say cheese. I kind of want you to pop your shit. <laughs> Man, I oh even the goat laughing. See what I'm saying? You gotta pop your shit. Hey, this ain't no. They know this ain't no play. play the, look. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the goat? This the goat, young goat. Is he laughing? He laughing at you. <laughs> you hear me? You ain't never seen this before. We gonna give him a lot that they ain't never seen before. So I I got fifty sixty dogs, bro. You know I I buy and sell and breed dogs every day. So when litter's dropping. Some more puppies going out. You know what I'm saying? I got to keep it. I got a, I got a facility in the back of my property where I keep a bunch of dogs. You know what I'm saying? Well, I did keep, but I got to the point where it was getting, I was spending too much on getting it clean and spending too much on maintenance. And the way I got it, when one of them gets sick, all of them got sick. So I had to keep moving dogs around. Then I got to the point where I let people co-own dogs with me now. You know what I'm saying? So I don't keep so many at home. But I'm selling them. I can sell by... I can sell a dollars every day of the week if I want to. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, if I sold everything I had, I wouldn't have nothing. Exactly. So I can make I can make I can make whatever I want a week. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta make the production. Or I gotta be on the internet finding the dogs that people want. People can DM me and I go find what they want and I make a little something off of it. So it, it just varies on how I wanna do it. I'm so busy with franchising and and into the birds and the reptiles and learning new stuff. I'm not really at home like that, so I ain't just into just breeding dogs. So you can really, you really control your own destiny. Your own destiny. You can make from five thousand to fifty thousand if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. That's if, amazing, I, if I wanted man. to, if I want to stay down and I, I, I set my mind on, hey, I want to make this certain amount of money. I'm gonna do it. That's just me. I always been like that.